Guitar player. Uh, I live in Temple Terrace, Florida. I'm Tim. I'm the drummer. I live in Temple Terrace, Florida. What up? I'm Nick. I'm the bassist. And I live in Temple Terrace, Tampa, Florida, baby. Really? <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. Uh, just toss out all your social media links real quick, also, if you could. Oh man, what is the, <laughs> yeah, the exact tab for our band's page? It's uh for Instagram. It's no sleep underscore band. Yeah. Yep. I know the Facebook one's official no sleep, and there's like a number. 21. Yeah, 21. Probably 21. Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. Hell yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining, man. Uh, my co host today is JB. He goes by JB Music 661 on just about anything. We appreciate you guys joining, man. I, we jammed, I don't remember what song it was, but like two weeks ago, I, somebody requested you guys, and I was like, holy sh, this band is amazing. We got to get them on the show. Uh, how did you guys all meet, and how long have you been together for? Uh, we met about uh, eight years ago. Uh, we started a little metal band back then um been friends ever since uh yeah. tim however uh, we met him about two years ago yeah i met uh nick uh we're veterans we met at uh, fort drum new york about four years ago five years ago yeah, about five years ago i just remember him telling me stories about these guys and like their band and showing me like videos of them and uh yeah we just all kind of came down whenever we both got out just kind of worked together that way and we all linked up and decided to make music what was the what was the conversation like to to form no sleep and decide we're not going to be as heavy as we used to be we're going to tone it down just a little bit and do more cleans if you will well with our first songs we were going a little heavier than we are now uh, we were just kind of figuring ourselves out finding our strong points and um just kind of went lighter from there probably going to stick with how we are right now so it's funny because we have such like broad like music taste between all of us and yeah. like tim lo fucking loves heavy shit yeah I love we that. all love heavy <laughs> shit too but i think we're trying to like appeal to a, a bigger crowd and stuff like that so absolutely mm -hmm. i got you and i see you're holding the football is it safe to say you're either a bucks or dolphins fan Bucks fan all the way let's go <laughs> bucks fan hell yeah i'm a i'm actually a vikings fan myself and it's rough it's rough every year, bro. It's rough every year. <laughs> uh, JB, what question do you have for the fellas before we jam a song of theirs? Yo, guys, thank you guys so much for being uh, on the show with the local band Smoke Out. Really do appreciate the time you guys are committing to this. It means a lot to us. Uh, with that being said, for 2023, is there certain goals that the band is trying to meet? Are you guys trying to meet more music when it comes to uh, posting it on uh, like Spotify, iTunes, or are you guys trying to make uh, do more like live shows around the area? Uh, we're definitely getting up to start playing live shows. That's our main focus right now. So you yeah, haven't yeah. played a live show with this lineup? With this lineup? No. No. We, have this, this we were trying to Hell yeah. first and then kind of hit the streets, you know? That's cool. That's cool. Hit the yeah. streets. Yeah. <laughs> hit the streets. I like the way you say that right there. Did you guys? Did you guys bring hot sauce? I know you said something about bringing some gnarly hot sauce. Can I can I see what you brought if possible? Uh, hold, hold up yeah. there. there we go. Can you see that? It's a, it's got like a glare on it. Oh, iguana? I, what? Yeah, try it. Just what is cool. that? What? <laughs> what what peppers? What pepper is involved in that one? I don't know. It says uh, habanero pepper sauce. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. Uh, well, to do to do the trivia part, uh, I need to know what movie or TV show, if you guys could agree on one one movie or TV show that you've seen more than anything. If I ask you trivia on it, you will not get stumped. Uh, I'll give you a minute to think about it. If it's cool with you, can I jam <laughs> Igniting Perfection? Absolutely, yeah, sure. Throw it on. Hell yeah, we're hanging out with No Sleep, guys. If you enjoy the music, please hit the subscribe button for them. Support them. Go on Spotify, hit the follow button. It's igniting perfection. All right, guys, I got a really hard one for you. I mean, Ouch. this this is a hard one, I think. I think because there's four of you, it's you got better odds on getting it. So this Bro, is Jake the truth. What's Jake up? Jake and I literally just watched it, like, again, all the way through, like, two months ago. Yeah. So I think we're pretty fresh. All right. <laughs> we're going to find out. In Breaking Bad Season 2, it's a little bit of a long question, so bear with me. Walt and Jesse witnessed Tuco beating his henchman, No Dawes, to death. 
They are rattled by this. In the aftermath, Walt and Jesse sit in Jesse's car days and Walt figures out exactly how much more money he'll need to make sure his family is taken care of after his death. How much more money did he say he needs? God, it, it was something like 750000 Yeah, something, something like, like that. It was something like that. Oh, man, I don't <laughs> have the exact. Hey, can we, like, be in, like, a ballpark? <laughs> I'm going to give it to you. You're really close. It's 737. 737000 I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> well done. Let's go. Well done. JP, get some sauce ready. I'm going to go Mount Fuji Magma. I got it here. Oh, that's not even a fun one, plugging our own merch. Instead, if someone wanted to buy some no sleep merch, is that possible? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Where where would we go to do that? Let's do that instead. Yeah, where do we have our link at right now? Right now. If you if you can uh, just call it out or drop it in chat or whatever you okay. do, we'll sure. I'll have the mods reshare it. Mount Fuji Magma hot sauce. <laughs> Fuji Magma. <sighs> That was the end of it, too. Woo! All right, so with with not playing a live show yet, uh, I imagine rehearsals are, are crazy, going on nonstop. Do you have, like, a particular location and or venue in mind for the first one? Um, Not really. We were going to probably do the first one ourselves, like throw our own show, book our own venue, and get some bands that we like. But uh, not, nowhere in particular yet. That's the way to do it, though. Yeah. Start off with something comfortable. Because everyone everyone messes up a couple of times the first round of shows, like even if you practice 100 yeah. times. We've all like played shows before and stuff, but you know, just did our, our feet wet again. We haven't played shows in a while, so. Not this guy. Oh, except, except for Tim. Tim has oh, yeah. Yet. I'm a baby. We're going to pop his chair. I'm a baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, dude, you have a really unique vocal style. Who Who do you jam, like, back in the day? That made you that made you want to pick up a microphone and and sing like the way you sing. Um, I was really influenced by a lot of female artists uh, like Christina Aguilera and uh, um, Paramore, you know Haley Haley Williams and uh, Sleeping with Sirens and stuff like that. Pierce Bill. <laughs> we heard you're a big uh, Anthony Green fan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, absolutely. I am a big Anthony Green fan. Good call. Harvard as well. That kind of style of music. Uh, have you ever heard? Did you ever jam Versa Emerge back in the day? I have not heard of them. I think you would. I think you'd like Versa Emerge. They have a. They're a female front to bed. They don't exist anymore, but I think you would would uh, enjoy their music. JB, what's another one you got for him? I got to look up something harder. <laughs> Yo, something totally off the top. So if if someone gave you a bunch of money and it, it ha doesn't have to be music related, but as a band, what? kind of like vacation or what kind of like trip would you guys take together as as one yo that's a good question Ooh, you know me i would say indonesia <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, shit. i mean i'm saying japan oh japan's a good japan. one yeah. yeah no i'd say japan japan cool. japan yeah japan. Japan. japan cool yeah japan that'd be a cool <laughs> yeah that's a cool hell yeah i mean if i i, I this gotta be a hard one this to me, this is another hard one right here, but we'll see. Here we go. In Breaking Bad season four, Gus uses a box cutter to slash Victor's throat. What color was the infamous box cutter? I want to say it was. Was it red? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's been the longest since yeah. I've seen it, honestly. I thought, <laughs> so. I thought it was yellow. All right. Um, I think it's yellow. You guys agree yeah. on yellow? I okay. think it's yellow. Let's go yellow. Yellow. We got him. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> it is actually green. Green, oh, green is the color. No. Fellas, enjoy the hot sauce. I'm going to play one more song of yours, and we're going to go at heart this time. Once again, guys, if you're watching, please support No Sleep. And uh, hit the follow button. They're awesome. Out of Florida. Dang, you guys weren't playing either, for real. Like, you actually went in on the hot sauce. We appreciate it. Hell yeah. <laughs> well done. We, we put, a dent, we put a dent in it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Is it, is it that bad? It's Dude, bad. It's I mean, bad? It's okay. Hot. Okay, cool. Okay. okay. Hell yeah. Uh, do, does anyone have any weird phobias? 
We'll do some fun questions. Any any phobia? Something that scares you? Uh, I mean, Jake's scared of being touched. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I call I'm, that. I don't not know touch that name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared of birds, man. Like, your birds scare the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> For I'm sure. Not that Dude, they, they hurt when they fuck. <laughs> me, man, just like the usual stuff suffocating, drowning. Oh, claustrophobia? Yeah. Ooh, I feel be, like that's not that weird. Alive, right? dude? If I, like, think about that too long, I really, like, my skin just starts to fall. Yeah. I don't know about weird phobia. It's just uh, like the ocean and like heights <laughs> for me. Ooh, I have nice a heights thing too. I I'm, yeah. I can do like roller coasters and stuff, but if I'm like on top of a building and someone's like, "Look way down there," I'm like, "Nah, nah, nah, I'm good, I'm good." Yeah. Nah. <laughs> we went to Gardens. We rode like every roller coaster like three or four times. So much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Yo, I dropped the uh, the link for the merch too in our team chat. Oh hell yeah! Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Please support them. Buy some merch if you could. Okay, so let's say there it is, no sleep band.myshopify.com. We got it. Uh, let's say the, the first show is incredible. Great response from the crowd where you guys are having a couple beers afterwards, maybe a little ganja. What is the go to munchy <laughs> snack that night? Oh, good slice of pie. Pizza. Yeah, it's been pizza lately. Pizza lately, yeah. yeah. Pizza. I bought pizza last night at the gas station. <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning, I was like, I'm hungry. Had some Red Baron. That's good. It's always pizza, but if we're going for chips, it's probably the uh, baked Cheez-It uh, Cheddar Jack. Oh, for probably. sure. Ooh. For sure. Baked is good. Smart. Then baked yeah. Cheez-Its. Mm. Those are bomb. Hell yeah. What pizza place if you had to pick? Like, where Would you go to a mom and pop spot, or are we talking chain? Well, Mom, no, for sure. Mom, Pop, yeah. Dude, that New York, New York pizza right there is pretty good, too. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. New York, New York pizza. It's not New York, you know. Cassidy yeah. pizza. Yeah. It's Florida, New York pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys ever considered having, like, a like a huge feature on a single in the future for, you know, people, like, they tend to flood to a channel to hear, like, someone's parts, blah, 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 but then they discover the band because of a feature. Is that something that's been tossed around? Definitely. Absolutely. It's just getting the funds for, a, you know, a very famous artist. You yeah. know, it usually costs a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It is expensive. We're we're doing a, uh, a global vocalist project called AM Fall, and we have 31 vocalists, and, like, nine of them are, we had to pay, like, for nine or ten of them, and... It was a lot of money <laughs> for those nine or ten artists. I totally get it. Uh, JB, what's another question you got for him? So, if you guys had the opportunity to perform anywhere out of Florida, is there any dream venues that your band has, or uh, a certain state you guys are trying to uh, visit? I mean, for me, it'd be Red Rocks, Colorado. Oh, that's yeah. Just... Hell yeah. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> How do you top that? <laughs> That's really cool. Really cool yeah, I've always, I've never been there, but I've always heard that it has like the best acoustic sound. That's why everyone shoots like a DVD there. Yeah, the way it's all set up, yeah. Heck yeah. Who has uh the worst bad habit in the group? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Tim keeps living, leaving dishes in the dish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really we, bad. We all, we all. <laughs> Together. We all got our thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny started. for sure. <laughs> so you said earlier that you guys met in New York. Was that were you originally from New York and you moved to Florida or or how did you guys meet in New York? Uh so I'm originally from New York and when I joined the army, my first duty station was in Colorado, uh Fort Carson. And then on my second contract, I went back to Fort Joe, New York, and then like not too like much longer after that you came in when yeah, so March? I'm, I'm from like sarasota florida originally um and then i moved up to new york for getting heat to straight to the freezing cold <laughs> yeah, yeah it was so yeah. bad when i like i remember it was when we were downstairs cq desk aco and like i think it was like right after pt it was nine o'clock and we're like yeah let's go have a cigarette and we all went to my car and oh then, yeah, you were actually showing me some music. You yeah, like, and oh, I turned on some right. hardcore, and you were in the back, but then we locked eyes in like the rear view mirror. You're like, you like hardcore? <laughs> it's like, yeah, bro. Like popping our cigarettes, just chilling. No way, and then friendship just never stopped. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, do you guys have? Uh, has has anyone ever given you like really good 
band advice? Like maybe a bigger artist was like, oh, when when you guys, you know, really start to push it and get started, blank, blank, blank. Has anyone ever given any any good music industry advice that you're willing to share? I'm not sure if we've gotten uh, any good band advice. Plenty of bad, outdated <laughs> band advice. Like, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. Uh, there's, I mean, the first thing that popped in my head with our producer, Austin Coop, uh, whenever we're writing songs and stuff, he's always like, you know, I just like to take these moments whenever we're stuck, just to kind of like sit down, listen to some music, get some inspiration before we just start, you know, ripping each other's heads off because we, you know, hit a brick wall. So you do pre-production with Austin also when you guys, yeah. when you guys yeah. write. Yeah. Okay. He writes songs too i mean he's yeah. he's, he's fantastic he's, yeah, he's a great guy a music genius how'd you him. how'd you meet him um recording with our first band mm -hmm. like seven years ago or so we kind of just been friends ever since Hell yeah man. he was playing Galia. yeah, yeah and now he's in a band prison scene. yeah prison love him jamie we got time for a couple more what would be uh one of your final questions my final question as a band um, if you were able to tour whatever continent that other than Japan, of course, um, what, which continent would you guys focus on? Is, is there a certain like, um, place that focus more on the, the genre that you focus on, or is there like, just like a, a goal, goal continent? Uh, we got a pretty good response in, uh, Germany. streamers from, uh, Germany, Europe. Yeah. yeah. So, and I, I was over in Europe in 2017 on the Army's dime, and that was a really, really fun time. That was oh, interesting. First <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it's probably Europe. <laughs> I think it's most yeah. like some of the Spotify playlists and stuff we've been getting put on yeah. like, German based. Mm -hmm. It's like it's almost been matching around. the United States, especially yeah. with uh, energy. That's cool. That's so. cool. Mm -hmm. Chat, That's so interesting. Chat wants to know, uh, it, would your current day jobs allow you to go on tour? Would that be easy to leave your current day job if someone came along and was like, go open up for us, like, uh, The Word Alive or just some bigger band? Dude, if it's worth it, we're on it. We'll just put our jobs Get out of here. Band comes first. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah. That's badass. Well said, man. Everybody's getting, everybody's getting fired tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. You can always get another job, but you might always might not always be able to get on another big tour like that so it's i agree i think it's worth it to take the chance you never know uh so jb fun. final final question and we'll i'll send it out with one last one as a band um it doesn't matter what music you guys do uh what is one final impression you guys would like to leave the world save for unfortunately you guys got hit by a meteor tomorrow but the world wanted to know hey no sleep. What 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 is one message you guys want to know or to tell the world? Uh, interesting question. Take life easy. Yeah. Don't be so stressed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> be kind to one another. Show some respect. <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. Have fun and, and live a little bit. I love that. I love that. Have fun Sorry. and live a little bit. Uh, my, my final question is just kind of a fun, stupid one. But uh, if we could go from left to right, favorite moment in Breaking Bad? Whoa. I fucked Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, we, like, would say that just, like, randomly throughout the day. Just, yeah. like... I yeah. I <laughs> fucked Ted. Oh, that's bro, that's, that's hard to, that's hard to top. That might be my favorite too. <laughs> that or Jesse's uh, heroin scene when he's like being lifted. Dude, from the bed. Really I was cool. literally just thinking that. What's up, dude? Yeah, dude. friendship. Yeah. Did, probably... did you guys watch all the Better Call Saul episodes too? I just watched it up until the fifth season. The sixth one isn't on Netflix yet. I'm waiting for it. I like it. I think it's pretty good. It's not Breaking Bad, but it's it's good. I like the characters. I'm, I'm not going to ruin anything, but Jesse's in like the last like two episodes. Oh, I, but I, I won't ruin anything, so you'll enjoy it. And then I missed the last two. Favorite favorite two Breaking, Breaking Bad parts. Oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> 
Maybe when uh, Hank died. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, Damn! Damn, son. <laughs> uh, that was brutal. That's funny. Uh, oh, anytime Marie cries. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nick, anything? Have you even stuck? It's been so long since I've seen it, man. Uh, sure. You like Walter's tidy whities <laughs> 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 When can we expect, this is the real last question, when can we expect the next single, I'm assuming you're going back to Austin again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When can um, we... It's probably going to be a few months, probably five, six months, maybe. For sure. Working on, on the show, I imagine. Yeah, working on getting ready to play live. Focus on that, um, and then we'll hit the studio again. Hell yeah, awesome. Well, fellas, have a fantastic day. I appreciate you. Thanks you so much for doing this. You did not have to do this, but it's very cool of you to do it. If you're watching one more time, please support No Sleep any way you can. At Heart was the song that we heard a couple weeks ago that sucked us in, but I'm telling you, I jammed all five of them last night. All five of them slap. Fellas, if we could, maybe five or six months from now, when that single is ready, we could do this one more time. That's yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Man. awesome. Yeah, yeah, man, thank crazy. you so much for having us on. Yeah. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, no sleep! Yeah, hell yeah. Cheers, fellas. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks.